According to Will Vradi and Jeffrey Elkner, 2017, there are four main edges that divide of the history of ICT. First, for mechanical edge, is the earliest edge of information and technology. It can be defined as the time between 300 BC and 1450 AD, when human first started communicating using simple pictures and drawings, usually capped in rock. Secondly, the mechanical edge, where mankind first started to see connection between current technology and its ancestors. It can be defined as the time between 1450 and 1840. Thirdly, electromechanical edge, which got us close to some technologies that resemble our modern day technology. It was between 1840 and 1940 during which one of the most popular forms of communication was created by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. The first radio developed by Guglielmo Marconi in 1894 and then lastly Electronic Age is what we currently live in. It can be defined as the time between 1940 to then. The major objective of establishing ICT in the university is to coordinate all ICT activities, anything that has to do with ICT, from portal where students' information are stored, coordination of examination venues using technology. Furthermore, all data related to the university are being stored. In the University of my degree, there is only one ICT center, but with many minor centers, which includes Medical College, Center for Distance Learning, Geography Department, and that of NUCC. In addition, there is one minor center at the University of my degree teaching hospital. The University of my degree has about 3,000 computers under the ICT, but for the university on computers as a whole, they are much more than this figure. The hierarchy of management of ICT ranging from the director as its head, there is a deputy director with various units, maintenance unit, human resources and finance unit, collaboration unit, somewhere, software unit, training unit, CBT unit and so on. Information and communication technology ICT has been in existence for years. According to the director of ICT University of Meduguri, Dr. Abdelkader Hamza, ICT consists of three things, information, communication and technology. It is a process where information is stored transformed, transmitted, or manipulated using technology. Okay. Uh, ICT Pro consists of three things, mm. information, communication, and technology. So it's a process whereby you combine these three together. So it's a, uh, um, a process whereby information uh, is uh, either stored, transformed, or transmitted, or manipulated using technology. Now mm. this uh, information will also be communicated. Mm -hmm. Now, communication can be just storing it for future use. It can be uh, processing and then transmitting. It can just be transmitting over long distance, short distance, or even into your flash. So combining these three things is what uh, entails us information communication. We live daily, okay. generating lots of data, lots of information. Mm -hmm. And we want this information to be stored over a period of time. We also want to ensure that there are no changes in this information and we can access them at any time. We can transmit them 
uh, within a fraction of a second over a long distance. Now this way, uh, using ICT, it uh, eases our daily affairs, our daily mm -hmm. lives. Just imagine in the past, uh, to communicate to someone, you have to send uh, a letter. Not long ago, you have to write a letter. But today you can write an email. Live a busy life of arranging data. A lot of information are needed to be stored over a period of time. And we also want to ensure that there will be no change for this information. You can get access to them at any time and transmit them within a fraction of a second. Using of ICT cases human activities some years back, just imagine to communicate to someone from a distance, later via written and sent. The ICT started in 2002 in the University of Meduguri. It was started as a unit. There was ICT during the colonial period. Most courts were used to send messages from London to Nigeria. At that time, Nigeria not as a nation, but also a British colony. The first ICT in Nigeria as a country was established by Wireless Tele Telegraph Act in 1961. ICT in the University of Maiduguri is located close to El Kanemi Hall of the University, where most students patronize to upload their biodata and register their courses for this session. Although, other individual cafes help to reduce the crowd in the ICT center during the time of course registration and biodata uploading. The maintenance of the ICT in the University of my degree is managed by the staff of the ICT. Present COVID-19 pandemic compelled the management of the ICT to take NCDC protocols where social distancing and proper hand sanitizing became necessary for all students and staff who visit the ICT center. According to Ibrahim Moses, a student in the Department of Political Science said ICT has made knowledge assessment so easy. He reasoned that with ICT, most of their assignments are expected because some materials are not found in the university libraries are, are found online. It has also helped in knowledge sharing through different ICT handles such as Facebook, WhatsApp, and its like. This supports the view of Dr. Abdul Kadir Hamza, who is the current director of ICT in the University of Maiduguri, who said ICT consists of three things, information, communication, and technology. Some students can't operate a computer ICT, and this warrants the university to make ICT a general course for newly admitted students. The center in the university has a security checkpoint where security personnel work for 24 hours based on shifting duty. It is a storage building with different compartments of several units and office fully loaded with computers that assist the proper move and management of the center. Issues and channels through the junior staff to their superior on maintenance of computers that develop problems within the ICT. Some computers experts are always found in the conference of the University of Meduguri ICT Center who were charging students to make their upload of their requisite and mandate led by the university. These computer experts not only make upload but also help to check for materials that would enable students to compose their assignment. Some universities don't give an ICT-based assignment, that is, assignments that are submitted online, either through their emails or other online links. 
it's actually difficult for most students to access this assignment without seeking assistance from computer experts, especially those in the University of Medugul ICT Center. The University of Medugul ICT Center is more crowded during the online registration period and become less crowded after the registration. In the ICT Center, there are printers that are used to print output after the computer works are done. The computer-based test popularly known as CBT is conducted at the second floor of the ICT where, facility, where, where required facility to run the CBT is provided. Candidates and applicants of different applications such as JAM, force recruitment, state civil service recruitment, and so on, do come to take their aptitude test in the ICT center and its sub-CBT centers within the university. Uh, uh, um, a process whereby information uh, is uh, either stored, transformed, or transmitted, or manipulated using technology. Now, mm -hmm. this uh, information will also be communicated. Mm -hmm. Now, communication can be just storing it for future use. It can be uh, processing and then transmitting. It can just be transmitting over long distance, short distance, or even into your flash. So combining these three things is what uh, entails us information communication technology. Okay. Then question number two is what are its importance? Okay. Um, we live daily okay. generating lots of data, lots of information. Mm. And we want this information to be stored over a period of time. We also want to ensure that there are no changes in this information and we can access them at any time. We can transmit them uh, within a fraction of a second over a long distance. Now this way, 
uh, using ICT, it uh, eases our daily affairs, our daily mm -hmm. lives. Just imagine in the past, uh, to communicate to someone, you have to send uh, a letter. Not long ago, you have to write a letter. But today you can write an email. Um, almost immediately that person receives. You can make phone calls. You can do a lot of things uh, using information uh, technology, information communication technology. Thank you. Thank you. When was ICT centers established in the University of Madhuguri? Um, the ICT started in 2002 here in the University of Madhuguri. Okay. And um, it started, uh, uh, of course, just uh, like any uh, uh, directorate, it started uh, uh, as a small unit and then it expanded. So it started in 2002. Okay. Well, when was it introduced to Nigeria? Okay. Um, we have to look. When was the first time uh, Nigeria as a country used communication uh, with technology, okay. even using Morse code? Um, that has been a long time, even during the colonial era. Morse okay. code was used to transmit information between uh, mm -hmm. the head unit, where uh, in which case it was in the UK, mm -hmm. and then to Nigeria. Okay. But because we didn't gain independence, so mm -hmm. we can, uh, in a way, say that uh, it was used in Nigeria, not, but not by Nigeria as a country. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, as a country, the first law on uh, ICT was the Wireless Telegraphy Act, which was passed in 1961. So that was the official, I think, uh, moment when Nigeria adopted ICT. Okay. What are the primary objectives of establishing ICT centers in the University of Nigeria? The major objective is to coordinate all ICT activities. Anything that has to do with ICT from um, the portal where uh, student information will be stored uh, to coordination of uh, examination venues that uses technology to all the computers, uh, anything that uses electronic uh, transmission or generation and uh, even storage will be coordinated. Now, there's a reason for that. If you allow every unit, every department, every faculty to do that, so there will come a time when bringing these things together to work together is going to be almost impossible because everybody will have their own method of doing things and there's no centralized method of doing it. So the ICT is, uh, was uh, brought forward to coordinate all of these activities to have uh, a central point where all data related to the university uh, will be stored, uh, uh, safeguarded and uh, the ICT will also give a medium for uh, information exchange between uh, authorized users. Okay, so the next question is, what are the achievements on the ground for establishing ICT in the University of Um There are so many things uh, mm -hmm. that has been done. For example, uh, all the students uh, are aware about uh, um, one major factor, whereby uh, during examinations you come here and to even administer this exam. You will see uh, it's administered from a central point, but every student will have access to those examinations um, uh, that are available. So now the primary aim of a uh, university is for students to come, one of the primary aims to learn, graduate. And uh, when you learn, you have to be examined. So it has uh, given this platform for doing that. Now, uh, there's also internet access, although at the moment there are major problems with the internet, uh, uh, but even power supply is an issue now to even, uh, to even start blaming the internet failure. In addition to that, uh, the ICT conducts lots of trainings, various kind of trainings for students, for staff, for uh, even people from outside the university and outside the state. And, uh, uh, it also gives uh, a collaboration environment for the uh, for communication. Uh, so these are some of the, the achievements. Okay. What are the challenges you are facing now? Um, at the moment, our major challenge is power. Um, it has been here long before uh, the recent power outage in the whole of uh, the Maiduguri um, uh, and its metropolis. Maiduguri and its metropolis. Yes. I mean. So uh, power failure is a major issue. So you have to invest a lot in providing alternative power. Mm -hmm. And we know all this equipment uh, for effective ICT needs consistent power. So the major uh, challenge now is how to ensure that we have this consistent power. Because uh, sometimes you have uh, a generator as a backup, but the generator can fail. 
sometimes you uh, design and you have uh, a large UPS that can handle what you want, but sometimes power outage can last much longer than what your uh, backup power can uh, give to you. So imagine between these two things, uh, um, this major factor, I mean the, the uh, power factor is the major concern um, at the moment. Okay, so I remain about uh, short, short three or four questions. So you have to exercise your answer. No How many ICT centers do you have presently in the university? There's only one ICT center, but we have many buildings. Um, that uh, under the ICT center. Okay. So in that respect, uh, just even within the university, we have about five buildings. We have the one here. Uh, we have another one at the NUCC. We have one at the medical college. We have one at the distance learning. We have one at uh, geography and others. We have others as well in the uh, University of Medical Teaching Hospital, uh, which are also part of, uh, let's say, uh, computer centers or test centers uh, that are under the computer and the ICT center. Okay. How many computers do you have on the ground, sir? Well, uh, this is not uh, a straightforward thing, but if you are talking about the computers within these CBT centers, mm -hmm. we have about uh, 3,000 uh, computers uh, in all. But if you're looking at university-owned computers, mm -hmm. uh, then that is uh, much more than this figure. Okay. Yes, so you have said that to, you want to know the hierarchy of the management you have down from the director to the downward. Okay. Uh, here we have units. Okay. Uh, the director uh, is solely in charge here. Uh, he has a deputy director, and then we have uh, various units. We have the maintenance unit, we have the networking unit, we have the human uh, resource and finance unit, we have the um, help desk unit, uh, we have the collaboration unit, we have the software innovation unit, we have the training unit, uh, these are the, and then we have the CBT center units. So they are all uh, managing part of the center. So the networking is in charge of coming up with the university network as far as uh, infrastructure of the network and then uh, the internet is concerned. The maintenance are the ones in charge of all repairs and maintenance of all the equipment here. Uh, the human resource uh, and finance deal with the administrative uh, matters. Um, the CBT center is in charge of all the CBTs where tests and examinations take place. Um, then the collaboration is a, is a unit where uh, people from outside the university can come to us for collaboration. Uh, they deal with that, we discuss, we negotiate uh, before we take up uh, any other matter that is, that is uh, appropriate. The training unit is in charge of training whatever way that uh, uh, is concerned with us and so forth. Okay, now remaining only two questions. It is about the topical issue of uh, COVID-19 protocols and, uh, you know, ICT is a place where a lot of people are coming. Yes. So, sir, what are the protocols of coming to ICT as a student? Okay, um, we are here to serve, and students are our focal point. We want to serve the students. Um, luckily, since resumption, the number of student influx uh, has not been high. So it's just, uh, you see, very few students coming one at a time. Um, uh, but during examination, the university ensured that the Presidential Task Force Directive on COVID-19 uh, was followed, and this is the issue. The major thing is there are protocols laid down. Uh, this was communicated to the students. So in here, any student that comes in uh, to lodge a complaint or to seek for uh, one form of uh, 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 services or the other, um, these units are here to guide that student and uh, we don't allow students to cramp around and luckily so far we've not had this kind of companies. You are well, you are coming away, you came and you had uh, a chair to yourself and uh, you are well spaced out. Uh, that was even when you came to seek for this uh, meeting uh, appointment and as you come today, so you've seen. So I think uh, I should be asking you, what do you think about the ICT? It's very appreciated. It's very appreciated. Okay. So thank you, thank you.